There are almost 7,000 open staff positions across the state in child care centers. That's according to data from Start Strong PA. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Evan Forrester. It's a major problem as many parents head back to the office and schools close for the summer. Fox 43's Madeline Cuddy he heard from those in the industry about how they're dealing with the child care crisis. 91%. That's how many child care programs in Pennsylvania said they had a staffing shortage in 2022. A startling statistic as summer approaches. And today, House Speaker Brian Cutler met with children at a child care center and several local leaders like Steve Doster with Mission Readiness about issues facing child care across the Commonwealth. The early care and education sector is the sector that all the other workforce sectors depend on. If working families don't have access, access to child care, they have to go to Plan B, and many families are struggling with that plan. Lily Dipner with Community Action Partnership says she sees every day that kids need affordable places to go with trained staff. So 145 total is what we need. Uh, we currently have 51 openings. That um, puts us at a deficit of 35% of my staff needed simply to run a classroom and to run a classroom safely. So our t children are there, our families are eager, but I don't have humans to run safe rooms for them. As for this summer, Kathy Lurch, Chief Program Impact Officer with the YWCA, says they have openings for kids, but finding and retaining staff has been difficult. It has been a struggle, and it is, it is a constant talk about any kind of provider meetings that we have. Um, we've had already, you know, conversations about how we can keep retention of the staff that we have, but then also recruit qualified staff. She and her team are trying to find ways to keep their programs affordable and high quality. And we've learned through the pandemic that child care is an essential and those child care professionals are essential workers and we need to actually um, compensate them that they're able to even be able to live their life comfortably. Madeline Cudahy, Fox 43 News. A judge has ordered a